Um, obviously, that team has been playing as well or better than everybody in the league for the last few months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you're not into statements, but what is the takeaway from tonight about where you guys are and where you can go? No, it's 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 not a statement. Well, we've been grinding for six weeks trying to get you to a more consistent level and uh, even after some of these very you know, painful, disappointing losses, we saw progress. And that's the tough thing about this league. This team has had to manage through a lot, but, um, haven't made any excuses for it. Uh, we just continue to try to work to get better. Uh, Utah obviously is a super high quality team. They present uh, a lot of uh, different kind of challenges, both ends of the court. You have to be very um, intentional. You, you have to bring a, a, a great competitive spirit. You have to play well make some plays. Uh, that, that, that's the bottom line. It was a high level game. And, um, you know, we, we had uh, some big plays down the stretch with Gorn and uh, Jimmy, you know, offensively, Andre was, was terrific, you know, the whole night um, and defensively, you know, making some, some defensive plays against, uh, you know, a team that can really get you on your heels. They move the ball so well, uh, well coached and, uh, and great skill. And the, the job Goran did, especially Eric, obviously he would probably even confess he's not really back in rhythm, but he certainly looked like he was back in rhythm tonight. Even at this point in his career, does he still need games like this for the confidence, especially coming off an injury? Uh, no, I don't think he needs it for the confidence, but we need it to be able to beat a, a quality team like this. Like if you really look at it, um, you need, you know, players uh, to make, plays and and oftentimes create something out of nothing and, and that's what Goran was able to do he had some downhill drives and semi-transition he had some pick and roll plays that uh, in some ways uh you know was def they were defended well and he just you know got in the gaps and made some some floaters and some pull-ups uh you know that's what great players uh, do Jimmy did uh you know similar similar type thing in the fourth quarter you know going down the stretch Thanks, Eric. Have a good night. Thanks. So next, we have Ira Winterman. Eric, you said before the game that Utah's defense sort of makes people just make plays and takes you out of your stuff. Was it as simple as give the ball to Jimmy and get out of the way? Or are there still some? Oh, you, 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 uh, look, those guys had to make plays. Right. Uh, but you, you have to be intentional. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're not, they can swallow you up, you know, big time. Even if great players, uh, you know, ability to, to create shots. Um, you know, if you're not detailed, uh, they can really make it a, a headache. And then you took a unique approach with your uh, rotation today, playing KZ and what were the precious minutes. What was the background on that, Eric? Yeah, it's not really a, an indictment on, on anybody. This team is, you know, Utah is really unique uh, with the skill level, um, shooting and, and um, spacing, uh, all of it. Um, just felt that we needed a little bit more uh, perimeter uh, defense. Um, and I thought KZ, you know, had some, some quality minutes, three offensive rebounds. Uh, he had uh, a nice defensive play before he came out. And those are tough, you know, situations to go in for a young player, just three minute burst, just to, you know, be a gap there. And, you know, those, his minutes were positive. And then Bam had the uh, injury was questionable going in. Did you have any doubts that he'd be out there and, is he the kind of guy you basically just can't keep off the court unless it's something debilitating? Hey, uh, yeah, Bam is uh, an absolute throwback, uh, a warrior. Uh, he wants to be out there and compete, you know, and, and be there for his, his team. And he also wants to play against the best teams. You know, um, I know it's just great, uh, great to have him out there. Thank you, Eric. All right, Coach, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. No questions, Anthony?